This is an Area 51 R2, except it's not. This is your from Alien Why Not. You see, Alienware actually allowed us to put any kind of motherboard we wanted to by using the standard ATX model. So this particular unit actually has an MSI X99 SLA Plus motherboard. Now it's actually the closest that I could get to building an actual Area 51 R2. I do have two of these units and the other one is a full Area 51 R2, uh, you know, complete from Dell. However, this particular one, I wanted to modify it and put any kind of motherboard I wished. So I simply bought the case, but it wasn't that easy. You see, in this motherboard, the USB headers are actually in a different place. And the wires aren't long enough for the wires that came standard on this case. You see, this blue wire here is actually an extension that connects to the front header port. But since the Alienware Area 51 R2 motherboard actually has them in a different place, these extensions needed to be purchased. Now this right here is actually from eBay. And they're pretty cheap. They run, I believe this ran me about $6 or so shipped. So definitely not an expensive purchase. And it will be necessary if your USB header is in a different location. Not to mention power and uh, amongst other things actually. Dell actually uses MSI components and MSI motherboards. I wanted to be as close to the platform and as true to the platform as I could. So I actually got the X99 SLA Plus motherboard. This actually allowed me to put all kinds of different processors, including the one that's actually on here, which is a Xeon 14 core processor. Now this, what you see right here, is an EVGA, EVGA GTX 580 video card. Uh, this video card definitely wouldn't suit this Area 51 or quote unquote Area 51 or modded Area 51. However, I wanted to have some fun with some benchmarks and that will actually be for a later video. The other thing that I actually did was I put in a different kind of cooler. Now I did stick to the all-in-one cooler system. This one right here is actually from Corsair and it's the H60 model and it actually fits uh, pretty well. This right here was a uh, actually I took it off of the area 50 or uh, I'm sorry it was uh, out of an Alienware laptop manual. Uh, I ripped it out of the manual itself. It actually had this metal Alienware logo and so then I just simply used some epoxy and put it on top. I actually think it looks pretty neat. Uh, the other modified component or different component is actually this Antec 1200 power supply. You see the other Area 51 actually has an 850 watt power supply and I wanted to use something with a little bit more power. The rest, well, the rest is Alienware. Fans, uh, even the lighting mechanism. However, the lighting mechanism is something that we're going to have to talk about in a later video since it didn't work right away. I just wanted to show you this system because I'm actually going to be using this for a lot of fun experiments that we're going to be doing in this channel. If you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is Hero from Alienware.